Okay, this is the presentation that I gave a few days ago at Teach Meet in Melbourne, so I just thought I'd record it to put it up and share with people. So this is about giving feedback. Now, I know feedback is one of those things that, um, well, as teachers, I think we think this is one of the things we do well. And I actually do think it's one of the things that we really bring to teaching. There's lots of things you can actually look on the internet and say, how do I do this? I mean, this really is one of the things that's come an amazing um, distance in the time that I've been teaching. But what's harder to get is feedback. Because people will comment on stuff on the internet. You know, you can put your work up there, but a lot of what you get is just mindless. Oh, that's terrific or people sniping and the sniping is not particularly helpful so I want to start with a little exercise first things first my name is Mark now this is easy to remember because it means stain blemish or spot the next bit is a little bit harder and if I was doing this in person I would be saying getting somebody from the audience and this is what I did the other day and saying how do you say my surname and lots of people particularly in Australia which is where I am will say Omira looking at that so my goal, because you've got to have a goal when you're talking about feedback, and that goal's actually got to be to get somebody to reach higher than what they were doing. If the goal is just keep doing good work, then that isn't really feedback. That's not actually developing their learning. So I am going to give you a script to help you with feedback. So let's start with this. So here's the script. You say to the, you know, if you said I'm Mira, I would say, okay, I'm going to give you some feedback and my feedback oh actually sorry I've jumped off task here and this is actually the bit that's hardest to get the hang of I'm then going to ask you what you're going to do differently so I'm not just going to deliver this information at you I'm actually going to say so now what are you going to do differently and then and this is also hard for me I'm going to listen so they're the harder steps to remember you, li you ask and then you listen and you'll be amazed what people will say because I would have thought that students understood what I was saying but um, test it yourself and say okay so let's go with saying my surname so I am going to give you feedback and that feedback is that Omira see I've just said it wrong Omara is looks different than it sounds and this is how it sounds so that's what it looks like and I know it looks like Mir because it's got that ear E-A-R in the middle, and we want to pronounce that as ear, but it actually sounds different. It sounds like O, as in, oh my God, there's a hipster behind me. Ma, as in, Ma, please don't beat me with a wooden spoon. And Ra, like a lion. So now that I've given you that feedback, I then say, so now what are you going to do differently? And if you can only say, oh, I'm going to remember to say your name right. You know, I'm probably listening for you to say more like, I need to remember that it doesn't sound like it looks. Or I need to remember those pictures and piece it together as oh, ma, ra. But what I really need to do is having asked the question, I need to listen good and proper. So let's have another example. Let's say that you had this sentence put in front of you. You need a goal. You need to be able to say, what am I actually going to concentrate on this student improving? Now you've got a couple of things here. Obviously you've got the capital at the start and you've got seated instead of sat. I'm going to go for the low hanging fruit here because this is meant to be a very quick little tutorial. So my goal is to get the student to start their sentences with a capital letter. So that is what I want them to reach for that they're not currently doing. So I've got the sentence and I'm going to say, I am going to give you some feedback about that sentence that you did. Uh, and then I'm going to tell them that all sentences, or in fact most sentences, start with a capital letter for the first word in the sentence. There are some exceptions, and I might explain this to more senior students, for products that have a fixed capital letter, but in a, a fixed lowercase letter, but in every other case, the first letter in a sentence is always a capital. So, then I'll say to the student, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do differently? And then I'm going to listen and see what they say. And I hope what they're going to say is, I'm going to look at the start of my sentences and I'm going to change it to a capital letter if I've missed it. So we could see it again with the dog seated down next to Dave. Again, I could go for the capital at the start, seated. When I did this the other day, we went for Dave. Again, it's pretty easy. And again, the goal is for the student to start proper names or proper nouns with a capital letter. Uh, and that's reaching up from where they currently are. And once again, um, I am going to give you feedback. You give them the feedback, you say, so what are you going to do? And you listen. So 
that is the end of my presentation. I hope that you found that useful. I do really encourage people to try and put this into practice. See what you can do with this um, and see what different results you get. I had always thought that I, I certainly thought I'd given lots of feedback and I had thought I'd listened to students, but once I started using this script, I got quite noticeably different results. So I encourage you to give it a go.